Hey people, it's Larry Guy down the hall, and I need to let you know about a leaked image that came off of Roku servers. That is, appears to be an image of the Roku 4. Now some will be disappointed it didn't actually get the name for Roku 4K. And others are disappointed they can't use the meme Roku can't house it past 3. Here it is, and I actually should, I'm going to tell you more about it, I'm still trying to wake up. Okay, we're noticing we have a wider form factor, which should help with better heat dissipation. Uh, as we do know, there have been heating issues with the Roku 3 and 2. So more on the 3. This definitely looks going to cool a lot better. We also have, also because of the wider form factor, you have a lot more room along the back. Hopefully they decided to include room for uh, cooling vents, which would be very nice and highly uh, unexpected for s and hopefully a, a change in trend because I hate this trend of no cooling vents on electronic devices. Uh, if it, for some reason the style monitor said decided cooling vents are bad. No! Listen to the engineer. Cooling vents are good. We want to smoke our stuff. We're the we're the users' homes for that matter. I need to get the dust off my screen. I should have done that before I turned on this stupid camera. But I don't always think in advance, as it is plainly obvious. And even when I do, it doesn't always work. So, going back to the rear, um, we're going to presume it's going to have the regular plethora of ports. It's at least what is available on the Roku 3. Um, most likely everything's been moved to the rear. Uh, SD card's probably on the rear. And it still has the USB port, it's probably back there too. As would be the Ethernet and power and whatever else I've missed. So to have room for some goodies. Um, I know a lot of people are upset about the disappearance of uh, a dedicated audio out. Whether it is mostly of those wanting optical audio out, I'm more annoyed with the lack of, um, of analog audio out. It doesn't have to be mutually exclusive. There have been some cards in the market where it can do both optical, where it can both do digital audio and analog audio, just, just switch it in the hardware. But I'm guessing they probably will not go that way with this route, go that route with this unit. Although it'd be a way of differentiating itself from other units, uh, I would like to see them put the component videos back in on the top of the line unit. But again, it's something they're not likely to do. This far out, did I say component? I meant composites. Wouldn't mind a component made a comeback, but it's not likely to. Um, just so it's feature laden. You got, in that way, you can also serve the most number of customers, and then customers that that can directly go with the competing products without adding adapters. But again, that's probably not like they're just going to probably have just HDMI as the only output. Uh, the last thing I want to bring up is um, the remote. There's been some rumors that the new remote for the Roku 4 is going to be Bluetooth-based. And if that is the case, I'm not sure if it's just applying to just the controls or if it also would apply to the audio system for the headphone jack. But it applies to, to all of the above. Um, it would be great news for people who need to have multiple listeners being able to listen to a Roku with headphones on. Um, especially when you've got a family of more than two people and you want um, some of them need, want to listen to it, want to listen the video or the music if you're just using them, but the music only channel but uh, others need quiet also be great for the whole family if everyone could listen to listen to the TV while having the windows open in their summer and not being drowned out by the street noise that'd be cool too um, there's some other aspect as far as control side if they did open it up to Bluetooth um, if they may have opened it up to, say, like a Bluetooth keyboard, that'd be great. Um, yes, the voice search is still there, but it's only limited to certain apps. 
So that's sometimes I just want to be quiet. I don't want to say anything. Also, it'd be nice if we're trying to keep things quiet and just don't want to try to just pet and pet one letter at a time. Um, I, could, there, I have seen third-party add-on keyboards for, like, say, the Fire TV and uh, Apple TV. Hopefully someone will come up with add something similar to Roku, Roku's remote if Bluetooth rumor is true and it allows for that. There's also another theory that uh, Bluetooth is at the switch switch over to Bluetooth will still offer more advanced game controllers like a dual analog game controller. Um, again, that is still speculation as the whole Bluetooth thing is. But uh, we will know pretty soon as October 1st is coming up very fast. And I think that is all I have for now. Until next time, take care. Bye.